to everyone who lives in Colorado. CPR News produces in-depth stories on topics such as health, education, state government, and more. You hear those stories in Morning Edition, Colorado Matters, Here and Now, and All Things Considered. And those stories continue to inform and enlighten on our website. You can read and listen to our Colorado coverage and see additional and related content every day, anytime, at cprnews.org. Music, though, as CPR arts reporter Corey Jones explains, it's for a new sound steeped in Ratliff's working class background. Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Sweats take the stage in Denver on a Friday night in July, not at an auditorium or at a bar, but behind a house. It's a backyard, and there's probably like 300 people, and there's also people sitting on roofs and on top of the fence. There's no way anybody else can fit. Ratliff says they took the gig because of the intimate setting even though the setup wasn't great. There's no advanced technology that it's, you know, like rat nest of cables. Someone trips over those cables during the band's new single, SOB. The power cuts out, but the crowd carries the tune until the lights and the speakers turn back on. Aside from my irritation, I was like, okay, well, people are going, so we'll just keep it going. Twelve days later, the band performs on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Performing SOB of their self-titled debut album. Please welcome Nathaniel Radliff and The Night Sweat. It's a big deal because things changed right after that happened. And it's going to make a difference in our family's lives and that kind of stuff. So there's that, but I don't, I don't want it to get too loaded, you know. Ratliff grew up in the small rural town of Herman, Missouri. He took up drums when he was seven and joined his family in the church band. His mom was the worship leader. One day, Ratliff's father, Bud, didn't show up to mass on time. And so we just started the service and midway through, the phone kept ringing in the church office and so finally. 